Ever since plans for Riyadh Metro were drawn up in 2014, it's been one of the most anticipated projects in Saudi Arabia. The project is near completion and is expected to be up and running towards the end of spring 2022. In addition to the metro trains, there will also be buses as part of the project called the Riyadh Metro Buses, which will take you across town. It will cover main streets, highways, and substreets. And yes, all stations will have free Wi-Fi so you can stay connected to your family and friends too. The Royal Commission for Riyadh City has declared that all civil and construction works have now been finally completed, while the big picture completion has reached up to 92%. It is all part of the Riyadh Public Transport Project, our constitutes the backbone of the public transport system in Riyadh. With six lines at a total length of 176 kilometers and 85 metro stations, the metro network will cover most of the densely populated areas, public facilities, and educational, commercial, and medical institutions. The network will be connected to King Khalid International Airport, King Abdullah Financial District, the main universities, downtown, and the public transport center. The latest technologies were incorporated into the metro network design. The trains will run automatically without a driver. Central control rooms will be used to operate and monitor trains with high precision. Specifications of metro cars have included the world's latest technologies. The cars can be separated internally to accommodate different service classes in addition to the family class. The cars also support communication and information exchange services. The Riyadh metro stations were designed according to a unified architectural pattern to give the project a unique identity. Intended to provide the passengers with safety and comfort, all stations will be air-conditioned, equipped with a passenger information system, and provide internet access. Some selected stations will include shops and car parks. The stations will make use of solar cell technology to save about 20% of the power required for air conditioning and lighting. The Riyadh Metro project includes four main stations. Located in highly populated areas and at the intersections of metro lines and bus networks, the main stations are among the key factors contributing to the success of the Riyadh City public transport system. They'll provide many support services, such as parking lots, ticket outlets, shops, and customer service offices. The project also includes five stations serving as transit stops between different metro lines and integrating with the bus network. They aim at facilitating the movement of passengers among the different levels of the public transport network in Riyadh. The Royal Commission for Riyadh City has organized an architectural competition and invited the most prominent architectural offices and companies to provide their innovative designs for the main four metro stations. The project will meet all safety and security requirements for passengers and facilities. All metro cars and stations will be provided with advanced surveillance systems, which include surveillance cameras and early warning systems, firefighting systems, tunnel safety systems, and a communication system that supports real-time communication with the Control and Operations Center and the competent security authorities. For this kind of network, it's necessary to have Control and Operations Centers, right? And that was solved too, according to the plan of this project. The project includes the construction of five advanced centers to operate, control, and monitor the metro lines, trains, stations, and other project facilities. And finally, to realize all this and build the metro, it's necessary to provide enough energy to start the transport network. The electric power needed by the Riyadh Metro project was estimated at 468 million volt amps. Thanks to coordination between the Royal Commission for Riyadh City and the Saudi Electric Company, 
it was decided that the optimal method to provide the project with electricity is to provide each metro line with power from two independent sources. In other words, there will be 12 main power plants to feed the project, of which four plants with a capacity of 389.33K will be built from scratch for that reason. The other eight plants are already in service, but their capacity will be expanded. These power plants will be connected to the network via land cables with a total length of 84 kilometers. So, what do you say? Pretty amazing project, huh? Leave us comments and share your opinion with us. We expect that you've already subscribed to the channel and turned on notifications, but if you haven't, now is the time. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Thanks for watching the video until the end. Be safe and see you again soon.